Good morning, creator. Welcome to Odessa Rose Creates. I'm Robin Schmidt, and I'm an independent chakra tour designer, which means I get to share the love of chalking with you all with our reusable silkscreen transfers, chalkology paste, and inks. And today we're going to work on a welcome porch board. It's kind of a short one, and it's a recycled surface. So uh, stay tuned and see how we can create a welcome board. I'm gonna check myself on my iPad here, make sure you can see me okay. Say hello if you're watching. I know I'm on late today. Usually I've already been on, but uh, we had a late start today. So let's see where we're at. I'm still trying to find it. There we are. Okay, we have a couple people watching. You all probably thought I wasn't gonna be on today, but here I am. All right. Ooh. All right, um, so I found these signs at the hobby store on clearance after Valentine's Day. So I grabbed a couple of them, they were 75% off, and I'm gonna repurpose it into a welcome board. So I painted over the L-O-V-E in my black, um, Fusion mineral paint. So our lettering will be white. And we're going to use our new welcome transfer. This is what it looks like. This is our Chocotour reusable silk screen transfer, which means we get to use these over and over and over again. And this one is called, let me grab the package. I do have a link, a shopping link up above. And it's just called Farmhouse Welcome Signpost. So it's made like for making a signpost, like a porch sign. And what I like to do with these is I don't cut them completely apart. See all the cut lines? I like to just cut it down the middle and then this will line up your spacing just right. So you don't have to fiddle with each little square. You can just cut down the middle. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. And this will barely fit on this short board. It's not a very long board. Usually I work with a longer board so I can maybe put a pattern on the top and on the bottom. But this one doesn't really have room for that. So we will have welcome up here, all the way up to the top. And then down here we'll do our C-O-M-E. And you see this chicken? The chicken can be put up here on the O. And I'm gonna actually do the chicken, but I'm gonna see if I can put the O behind it. I always have a thing about some of the shapes just don't do it for me. Like, I still want that O to be there. It just kind of bothers me. So I'm gonna probably chalk on the chicken and then chalk the O behind it. So you can still get a hint of the O letter. But as you can see, this pretty much just fits perfectly on this board. I don't have much room at the bottom or the top. So not really any room for decorating my board. It's just gonna be plain, simple, welcome with the chicken on it. <laughs> so let's see who's joining today. Good morning, Vicki. Hi, Beth. Thank you for posting your lives on YouTube. I was in bed with shingles and you really helped me get through a couple of hours. Oh, thanks. I had uh, some of them I don't get on there because they won't save to my my uh, phone camera for some reason, whether my storage was too full or whatever. But I try to get them on there. And uh, so, yeah. But you can also rewatch them on my Facebook page, too. You can just go to my page, Odessa Rose Creates, click on Videos and you can scroll down them and see them there just as well. So you don't have to necessarily go to YouTube. Okay, good morning, Olga. Vicki, Morgan, hello, hello. Deb is watching, Ellen. Louise, hi. You want to make a welcome board. Well, you know, it's easy to do, just go buy a board. Usually I buy, I think the 12, 10 or 12 inch wide. Let's see how wide this one is. If 
one in my handy dandy tape measure. It's not so handy right now. Here it is. This one is really, I like, I like them longer so I can put some patterns on them. This one's 42 and a half inches and a little over, about nine and a half inches wide. I like a 10 inch wide board. Um, and usually I buy the 10, 10 foot or six, 12 foot long and cut them in half at the lumber yard and then have them cut them in half. Then you have like a five or six foot tall board. I'm trying to figure out, maybe it's just a five foot board. I can't remember. And then uh, you could just use boards. But this one was, if you're just joining, I'm recycling from the hobby store. This uh, Valentine one that it was 75% off. So, you know, it's not as heavy duty as an actual board but it's gonna serve the purpose. It has a hanger on it, you can hang it if you want. That's a light weight for hanging, which is good. Um, so yeah, so I'm not cutting these apart. I just cut them down the middle and that way my spacing will be just right. I painted that board black, I painted over the L heart V E and we're gonna do white lettering. So I'm just kinda laying them here to see where I want to put them. But I am going to fuzz it. We'll see how sticky it is and how much I need to fuzz it. I'll get both the fuzzing towels out here. It's a pretty easy project today. One more time at least. Just putting a little lit on the back side of this sticker so it's not too sticky. And it will pull up easy if it's got a little bit of lint on it without stretching our silkscreen fabric in there. All right, so let's lay this down. Let me slide it down so you can see. So we have this piece still on the backer and we want it to be about there. So now we need to line this one up next to the bottom one. So we can get our spacing about right. Just trying to make sure they're kind of, you know, plumb and level and all that good stuff. Okay. Slide this down so you can see. We have our WELC. Getting all the air pockets out. And I'm just going to use white. But then I'm going to use a, the dark stained wax on it to age it a little bit. Because I still left some of the white that was on this board. It's, it's a dirty white. I have that still around the edge. So we want the white paste that we're going to put on here. And you could go with like a dune or off-white, but I don't want it quite that dark. I'm just going to darken it or age it a little bit with the wax. So here we go. Just make sure you don't paste your cut lines because that is a silk screen too. So if you like start pasting all of this, then you're gonna have your little lines pasted. So don't do not do that, do each letter individually or you're gonna have a little white line across your board and you don't want that. So still do each letter. Kind of has a three planks to this board, so you got the the little uh, space between each plank that we'll probably fill in with chalk paste, which is fine. We expect that to happen. Okay. 
Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do this C real quick. So just go over the silk screen. And just make sure you don't chalk your chalk lines. That's why I had to do each letter separate. And then pull up our transfer. That is really neat uh, font with those lines in there. I really like that. I'm gonna lay that on my paper and then I'll wash that in a little bit. And then we're gonna slide down and do the uh, M and the E. But I better fuzz this a little bit. And then we're gonna work on the O area separately. So let me just throw the towel on this. Gonna do the M and the E, and I know about where that needed to be setting right in here. I was going to do the chicken in uh, gray, but ever since I thought about doing this, I really wanted to do it in a more of a coral color. So I'm going to do it in the guava just to get a little pizzazz to it. Gray would have been safe, but, or even, you know, sage or something like that. But I'm going to go with the bright color. Okay, so we're going to pick this up. And then I'm going to dry this really well, and then we're going to work on the O area. Okay. Hold it up here. See it so far? Now we need to put our chicken in here. And like I said, I'm gonna do it in guava for fun. Let's see who else is staying on here. I like it. Yes, don't put the letters on it. Can you use the flour? You sure can. If the flour fits in there, you can definitely use it. Do whatever you want. You can put every whatever you want in there. Um, I never find good stuff in Clarence oh, Hobby Lobby. Well, it was the Valentine stuff, and I got it exactly a week ago today, so who knows if it's still there, but they had tons of them. I only bought two. I probably should have bought more, but I was concerned about it being long enough 
for the welcome and the welcome just fits on it so no fancy designing to it too much I got this at the hobby store <laughs> it was like this Valentine I painted it black leaving some of the white showing on the edges right there so yeah I only grabbed two of them I should have grabbed more I'm sure they're gone by now but can you use it? okay so I'm gonna do the chicken and guava just for just to brighten it up a little bit you could play it safe and do a safer color but I think it's gonna be fun to have a little pop of color I think uh, if I had gotten the tulip paste by now the new in vogue color of tulip I think that would be a pretty color also Okay, let's put the chicken down. And then I'm gonna back um, back it up with uh, the O behind it, and I'll show you what I mean by reverse, tra by reverse transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna put my chicken on. Spring must be calling because I'm wanting this bright color. <laughs> See if I can get it all filled in. There we go. Whoops very smooth up here. Let's get it smoothed out. Okay, so there's the chicken. But in my mind, my eyes miss the O. Like, it's hard for me to, <laughs> I mean, I know it's supposed to, I know it's representing the O, but I still want a hint of the O. So I'm going to put it behind the chicken, what we can see of it. So we'll see what that looks like. Get this dried. I think the color looks really cute on here. Just a hint of paste over the chicken of wax just a little bit of wax paste you can use this is min wax there's all kinds of brands of wax out there Chocotour even has one I haven't or I always forget to order it but I have all this min wax too. I'm just gonna put a little bit of wax over it just so just in case the sticker of the O would pick up any of this Okay, and overall I'm going to put the dark wax over all of it to tone down the whiteness of the welcome because it's a little bit brighter than the white paint chip there on the ends. So I want to age just a little bit. And I could have done like an off-white paste also. But I think I'm going to use the uh, wax. That way I'll have it um, sealed. So I'm laying this back on top, matching up the M and the E. About like, there we go. And now I'm just going to chalk where I don't see the chicken. And that's gonna be the O. So it'll end up looking like the chicken is in front of the O. And yeah, you could have did your O and then you did your chicken, but you, you would see that underneath the chicken so this gives it more of a, a little bit more of a realistic view so um, go to a mini squeegee or even a multi-tool so you're not uh, getting on the chicken here get right up next to it the best I can the trickiest part is probably around its feet. 
But even if you're not perfectly perfect, it's gonna still look cool. Okay, now I think I need to go to my smaller tool here. Right around his tail. Even if you did get a little bit of white on your chicken, after this dries, you could always lay your chicken back down again and make it a little bit sharper if you need to, which I might do that, especially around his feet, a little bit trickier. Okay, so I think we got it. And it should look like the chicken is in front of the O, which it does. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So now it looks more like welcome and not just welk, then a chicken, then it me. So see it? Welcome. I like it with the O behind it. Do you think? It looks good. Looks really good. I don't think I even have to do the chicken again. I like it just the way it is. Yes, and I do like the font. It's a really fun font. A lot more character than our other welcome font. So there's my, get back so you can see it all. Now I'm gonna dry it really well again, and then I'm gonna put on the dark wax just to age the white of the white paste a little bit. So doesn't that make a difference having that O? I think so. Okay, let's set everything aside, dry really well, and then we will put on some dark wax and we'll be done. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's pull out my um, stained special dark min wax. It's a stained wax. And of course there are other stained wax out there. You can use whatever you're used to using or what is uh, available to you. my rag here and uh, I'm pretty much going to go over the whole surface but especially focus on the um, chalked areas and it's just kind of dirtying up that white chalk paste to match the white off uh, dirty white chalk paint underneath here on the edges that I painted over
gonna show you on these last two up close how maybe how that is aging or dirtying up the white, okay? So I'm gonna try to get as close as I can. <laughs> okay, so you can see how it ages it. Just makes it a little bit dirty. You can kind of compare that. So that's what we're doing is just making it old and dirty. Now it matches the white under paint really well. All right, looks pretty good. And that's it, we're done. Easy peasy. I just keep my rag in the empty jar until that, so my rag doesn't get hard when it dries. Okay, so there again is the chicken sitting in front of the O, so you can still see the O. Kind of just completes the word a little bit better, I think. I just like it with the O still on it. So there you go. It's cute. I like the, how the white, I left the white exposed a little bit. So if you're just joining, we went from this recycled Valentine board to a all, all around welcome there, side by side. Do, do, do. You see them? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, pretty cute. All right guys, let me check for any more questions. And I'll let you go. I like your, oh, my, you like my Idaho shirt? I went to Idaho this summer. I met with some uh, Idaho designers for the Chalk Fest. And then we made a vacation out of it. We flew into Salt Lake City. Then we went up to Idaho, at Idaho Falls, Idaho. And then we went on to um, Yellowstone National Park for a vacation, down to Jackson Hole, and then back down to Utah where, or Salt Lake City where we flew into. So we did that last summer. And so we were driving through Barefoot, that's what it was called, right? Barefoot, Blackfoot. Blackfoot, Idaho, where the Potato Museum is. So that's where I got the shirt. So it was pretty fun. Pretty fun day. So yeah, that's where I got my shirt. Okay guys. Thanks for chalking with me. Have a great week. I will be working tomorrow out at the store where I sell my designs and some other uh, retail lines at the shop called The Attic in Valley, Nebraska. I will be there Thursday and Friday, so I won't be able to come on live tomorrow or Friday. So I will see you next week. Happy chalking.